Um, more importantly, on Thursday night, Sauce Gardner was doing a live stream. He had Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall with him. And he said that there will be package deals if Aaron Rodgers joins the Jets. And there was no further elaboration, Peter, but when you consider that Aaron Rodgers has already listed the guys that he wants the Packers to keep if he were to stay, my guess is those are the guys he wants to bring with him to Green Bay. Randall Cobb, Robert Tunyon, Mercedes Lewis, etc. Guys who are going to be free agents and guys the Jets can sign. And Look, the way the Jets are doing this, and they're creating the expectation they're going to go after him, they're creating excitement among the fan base. They put the entire brain trust of the team on a plane and flew to California to kiss the ring and or the butt of Aaron Rodgers. If he wants those guys on the team, I mean, look, the Packers brought back Randall Cobb instantaneously when Rodgers was unhappy with the the front office two years ago. If that's what it's going to take to get him to sign with the Jets— or to, or to accept a trade more accurately to the Jets. Yeah, all those Packers. And look, you can argue we we, we got to have guys on the roster anyway. And if they make Aaron more comfortable in his first year in Green, in, in not in Green Bay, his first year with the Jets, so be it. Look, you know, one of the things about this that yeah, I, I'm not surprised at at all, if you're Aaron Rodgers, I mean, I'm sure he has met Robert Sala and he knows, or, you know, he at least knows who Joe Douglas is. Wouldn't you want, if you were going to spend the last two years of your career, theoretically, at least one, but probably two, wouldn't you want to meet the owner, the general manager, the coach, uh, and probably, I'm sure that Nathaniel Hackett was on that plane too, uh, in, in that meeting in Malibu as well. But wouldn't you want to meet all those guys who you probably, I doubt he's ever met, even met Woody Johnson before. But these are the guys who are going to control, have a good uh, chance of controlling whether you're going to contend in the next two years. So I would want to meet them. And the fact that he did choose to spend time with them says to me that he's serious about agreeing to a trade and to leaving the Green Bay Packers. And that he believes that the Packers probably, probably would prefer that their quarterback to make a clean break, that their quarterback this year is Jordan Love. So I think it was, you know, pragmatic of him. And it also tells me that he's most likely going to play this year, or at least is going to want to play this year. So I think there are a lot of clues to be gathered by... uh, by, you know, by what happened with that meeting in California. Well, and look, again, they went to see him. He didn't go to see them. They're trying to sell him. He's not trying to sell them. And it was Woody Johnson. I'm told it was his brother, Christopher. It was team president, head coach, GM, offensive coordinator. And they're not auditioning him. He's auditioning them. They and, And Peter, I just think it's a practical matter. I wrote about this yesterday. The Jets have to finish this now. What is plan B? Sorry we didn't get Aaron Rodgers. Will you settle for Jimmy Garoppolo? I just don't think the fan base is going to accept any quarterback solution for 2023 at this point other than Aaron Rodgers. Absolutely. Nor should they. Uh, You know, they have been fed all through this, the silent treatment about Aaron Rodgers, which, listen— It would have been very easy for the Jets, very easy for them to say to one or two of their local beat guys, been very easy to say, hey, ixnay on the Rodgers say, or whatever that would be, that we're we're not interested in Aaron Rodgers. And that that was never said. And so the, the teams in New York have a way of getting messages across without issuing a public statement. Those messages were never gotten across. There's no question that the Jets want Aaron Rodgers. And it's been that way for most of the last month. So in my opinion, Mike, it's Aaron Rodgers or bust. That's right. And now now there, there is a chance that we have to take a break, but there is a chance the Raiders could get back in the mix because the Las Vegas locally account on Twitter, which is followed by 240,000 accounts, just tweeted that actually this is from last night. It just came to my attention. A state senator in Nevada has introduced a bill that decriminalizes magic mushrooms. So the Raiders 
may have a shot. <laughs> Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.